Usually, we avoid things that could increase our risk of cancer, but in today's Health Watch, it's complicated. That's because, as Connie Feldman reports, the risk is alcohol. When the COVID pandemic hit, sales of wine, beer, and liquor surged in the U.S. While drinking may help keep the edge off for some, research is showing it's not a good idea if you want to avoid cancer. Many Americans are unaware that alcohol and cancer are linked. I don't know. Maybe? Probably? I'm sure. What, what doesn't increase cancer, you know, right? I've never thought too hard about that, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Yeah, I think it definitely could. I mean, I know alcohol affects your liver negatively. In fact, one survey revealed fewer than a third of adults recognized alcohol as a cancer risk factor. Yet, alcohol is the third leading preventable cause of cancer behind tobacco and obesity. And another recent study found one in eight cases of breast cancer and one in 10 cases of colorectal cancer and liver cancers are attributed to alcohol use. Yes, colon cancer incidence is on the rise in young patients. And certainly, tobacco use is a big factor, alcohol is a big factor. Several health organizations, including the American Society of Clinical Oncology, have called for the federal government to add a cancer warning to alcohol labels. And the American Cancer Society has recently issued new guidelines that warn there's no safe level of alcohol consumption for cancer prevention. Maybe I would probably cut back on it a little bit, but you know, if it's a risk type scenario, I don't know that I would cut it out all the way. Those who do choose to drink should limit their intake to no more than two drinks a day for men and one drink a day for women. Some help limiting your alcohol consumption to cut your risk of cancer. Earlier this year, the European Union announced plans to place new health warnings on alcohol and explore taxes and restrictions on the marketing of alcoholic beverages as part of a plan to reduce cancer rates. According to the New York Times, Europe has some of the highest levels of drinking in the world. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.